In breaking news, New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet has made a shock admission that he dressed up as a Nazi for his 21st birthday party. The Premier fronted the media to apologise for the costume he wore 20 years ago amid speculation a photo of the outfit was set to be leaked to damage his election campaign. Gabriella Power is at New South Wales Parliament for us. Gabriella, this admission has sent shockwaves through New South Wales politics. It's less than three months out from the state election as well. Kenny, it has. It's a shocking revelation and it's one that's likely to harm Dominic Perrottet's election prospects in March. Dominic Perrottet says that he became aware of the issue two days ago. There was rumours circulating that a photo existed of Dominic Perrottet wearing a Nazi costume on his 21st birthday and there was speculation that this could be leaked. Dominic Perrottet said that he spoke to Treasurer Matt Keane and also Police Minister Paul Toole before making this admission today. He said he made a terrible mistake and he's not the same person that he was 20 years ago. This is the moment he made the admission. When I was 21, at my 21st fancy dress party, uh, I wore a Nazi uniform. I'm deeply ashamed of what I did. And I'm truly sorry for the hurt and the pain that this will cause people right across our state, and particularly members of the Jewish community, Holocaust survivors, veterans and their families. I'm truly sorry for that terrible mistake. No questions. Was it, what made you decide to dress up in a Nazi costume at your 21st birthday by the Premier? I was naive, I didn't understand the significance of that decision, the hurt and the pain um, of what that uniform represents. You can hear Premier Dominic Perrottet pretty emotional during that press conference. He says that he realised he made a mistake straight away after his parents confronted him about what he did wrong uh, right after his 21st birthday. But this revelation comes just months after Mr Perrottet blasted Australia Cup final spectators who allegedly raised their arms in Nazi salutes, saying that they should be banned from attending any more games. The Perrottet government also made it a criminal offence to knowingly display a Nazi symbol in public without a reasonable excuse last year. Now, Dominic Perrottet says that he isn't aware that a photo uh, of him exists, but the issue was raised with him two days ago. Are you aware of a photograph of this, of this incident, Premier, that was potentially going to be used to damage you ahead of the election? I don't know of, I don't know of that. I, I don't know if one exists. Um, I've not seen one. I don't know. Then why are you, why are you apologising now? It's obviously some time ago. What's the problem well, this is something um, which has caused me throughout the course of my life much anxiety and when I rece received a call uh, two days ago, I thought it was important that this is my truth, that I should be the one uh, to explain that to uh, the people of our state, not someone else. So was that choice being taken away from you, Premier? Was someone threatening to expose it? No. It's a massive mistake, a terrible mistake um, that I made and I, I, it was important. It was important for the people of our state to hear it from me in circumstances where I know Premier, you that this day today and what I'm saying is going to cause people immense pain. The Premier insists that he's a passionate supporter of the Jewish community and he'll be making a number of phone calls this afternoon. We do have a statement from the New South Wales Jewish Board of Deputies President David Osip. He says, 
We appreciate that the Premier personally reached out to the Jewish community this afternoon to express his deep and sincere regret about his poor choice of costume as a young man. This incident, no matter how old, is a reminder of the need to continually educate all Australians and particularly our youth about the abhorrent nature of the Nazi regime and the evil perpetrated in service of the Nazi ideology. The Premier has acknowledged this, recognising that wearing the costume was offensive and will distress many in our community. We hope that this unfortunate incident will serve as a lesson to all. Kenny, a shocking revelation less than three months out from the state election. Gabriella Power, thank you.